hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon for getting new updates welcome to my youtube channel so today i'll show you how to install kali linux step by step so let's start guys so first of all we have to download the iso file so this is the link i'll give the link in description where you can easily download the iso file of kali linux the latest version and the final version of this year 2019.4 so you can simply download the iso from here and this is the software which is help you to create bootable usb drive so simply click on i button and now we have to reboot the system and go to our bios setting so here guys you have to boot your bios so first boot device is your removable device so your device is booting up so this is the boot menu so here is the all options this is new boot menu so i'll choose graphical install you can choose install as well as graphical install so here you have to choose the language and in second one you have to choose your location your country i'll choose mine and you can choose according to your location so this is the keyboard layout so now it is detecting the drive and loading the additional component so you have to wait for loading up the necessary or additional component so now it is detect the network if you have your network so it will going smoothly otherwise it will asking you to set up manually or automatic so you have to enter here your host name you can enter here any host name is it up to you you can enter here any host name and then you have to simply click on continue and here you have to enter your domain name if you have your domain name you have to enter here or simply click on continue and now here you have to enter root password this is the most important and then simply click on continue now it is detecting the hard disk or disk or retrieving the all partitions related to hard disk so here guys you have to choose any one option from here i'll choose use entire disk but it is delete all the files from your hard disk so you have to create backup before installing the kali linux or you can use vmware as well as virtual box so simply use entire disk and simply you have to click on continue continue and continue so it is showing the, all the partitions with name so here click on finish and now here you have to choose yes is it asking for saving the partition so you have choose yes and then click on continue so now copying data to disk right now data is copying from usb or your dvd or any other media copying from this to your physical hard drive so it will took some time and now it is scanning your network and asking for use network mirror so i select no but you can use yes if you have your mirror network like unix gateway so you can configure by click on yes this is the way how you can configure the mirror network 
so now it is installing grub bootloader so this is the most important part of Kali Linux so as right now it is installing the grub bootloader so you have to choose yes and then click on continue and here guys you have to choose your physical drive which is slash tab slash sta this is your physical drive and stv is your usb drive so select sta and click on continue so right now it is installing the grub bootloader in your partition so it is configuring the all details related to your software related to your hardware all the details installing through grub boot loader so this is the most important part of kali linux so right now kali linux 2019.4 is based on xfc older version is support gnome desktop environment but now this version is support xfc desktop environment which is lighter than gnome desktop environment so now you can check installation is completed so you have to click on continue but before that you have to remove your installation media so you have to remove the installation media and simply click on continue so it will restart your operating system and now it is removing the live packages from the installation media because we will already remove the installation media so it will took some time to restart your operating system or restarting your system so meanwhile if you want dual boot your Kali Linux you want to install your Kali Linux with your Windows 10 Windows 7 so simply you have to click on I button and where you can check the tutorial how to boot dual boot Kali Linux with Windows 10 so I'll explain there all the steps how you can install dual boot without losing any data so you can follow the tutorial meanwhile it is installation of Kali Linux where it is removing the live packages from Kali Linux now it is generating the installation report and then it is restarted so after restarted you can check the new bootloader is booting up so now you can check the animated Kali Linux logo is here this is the new feature of Kali Linux 2019.4 so now this is the login screen so this is the XFC login screen it is lighter than GNOME desktop environment now I am logging with my root account so simply enter the username root and enter the your password and this is the first time login in new Kali Linux so this is the XFC desktop environment which is very lighter than GNOME desktop environment so here you can check the new features and you can check the terminal the new terminal of Kali Linux so you can check yourself and this is the way how you can install the latest version of Kali Linux. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.